Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey if you're new here and I'm so excited for you to come along on my health journey. So today I'm so excited. Um, we just got our new oven so I can finally bake stuff again and I'm going to be showing you all five different dessert, five, that's 10, um, five different desserts that are WW friendly that you bake in the oven. Um, I got all of these recipes from Instagram, so all of the recipes will be linked in the description and I will be putting the person's Instagram on the screen that where I got it from. So if you miss any of the instructions or aren't following along, you can always refer back to the description and all of the ingredients and baking instructions will be there. Um, these five recipes <laughs> look delicious for me and I've been dying to try them out but our oven was broken and now we finally have a new one so i'm finally getting to do it and i'm so excited so if you want to see how these recipes turn out keep watching and don't forget to comment um and subscribe if you're new here give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and follow my instagram if you want more content okay let's get into it Okay, so the first recipe I am going to be doing is at Stephanie K underscore WW. Um, on her Instagram, she posted this recipe for churro donuts. And all you need is two ingredients. Like this is seriously so simple. All you need are these Rhodes yeast dinner roll. And then you leave them out for a few hours. Um, they start off at this size, like very little. And then when you leave them out, they rise to get a lot bigger. Um, so you definitely want them to rise. So I just want to show you all these. I got these at Walmart and she also uses the whipped cream cheese. Eight grams of this on each donut. Um, also got this at Walmart. Um, so each one of these, I'm going to fix four, is going to be five smart points. And all I'm going to do is put them in this mold so they come out to be looking like a donut. And then I have my oven preheated. At, or it's preheating right now to go up to 350 um, and then you bake them for five minutes so I am going to spray my pan and then start working these into the mold Okay, y'all, I'm about to try these dinner roll churro donut type things. So I'm excited. This is what they look like. That is amazing. For five points, no, dude, I'm going to be making those all the time. Um, I got my little donut thingy from my donut mold from Target. So if you're looking for one of those, that's where I got it. That's incredible. Um, Stephanie, thank you so much for coming up with that. Um, I'm going to be making those on repeat. It was literally the easiest thing ever. And it's delicious. Like, I can't stress that enough. Y'all, go make that immediately. <laughs> so good. Yum. That's a 10 out of 10. from at andy's underscore ww underscore journey on instagram and of course i'll be leaving everyone's instagram names on the screen and this is going to be a three smart point single serve pudding poke mug cake so all you need is 40 grams of some sugar-free um, cake mix flavor of choice and then you're going to do two tablespoons of a diet soda this is the only diet soda i have so it's gonna have to work a fourth a cup of unsweetened almond milk 
And then I have a little bit of chocolate fudge um, pudding for the frosting um, already open. So if this is enough, you need um, five grams of it. If this has enough in it, then I'll use the chocolate. If not, I will use the cheesecake for the frosting and I will show you how to assemble this. Here's the thing. It's not bad if you're in a pinch and want something sweet, but I think because I use almond milk for the frosting instead of cashew milk, maybe it's not as like tasty. Um, but I definitely don't think it's bad. I would definitely eat it, but it's not my first choice. Um, but it's quick, it's easy in a pinch, and maybe the chocolate would be even better, probably, but this was all I had on hand. And for three points, it's really a good option. So yeah, try it out. Okay, so the next recipe I'm making is at the healthy addiction underscore brownie cookies. Um, so these are two smarts, two smart points each. And what you're gonna need is three fourths a cup of almond flour, one fourth a cup of some kind of artificial sweetener. I use the monk fruit sweetener, that's my favorite. Three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, Hershey's is the best. A fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, one egg, a fourth a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, Faye is my favorite. One teaspoon of almond milk, I use the unsweetened, and then 40 Lily's chocolate chips. And these make, I think, 12 cookies at two smart points each. And if you didn't catch all of that, of course, it will be in the description below. Okay, so I'm going to taste the brownie cookie thingies that just came out of the oven. They look really good. This is what they look like, so. Those are delicious. I'm shook, y'all. All these are turning out so good. Um, I don't even know what to say. They taste like a brownie, but they're like in the shape of a cookie. They are like a teeny tiny bit dry, but the flavor is amazing. They're not overly sweet at all. So if you're like looking for a really sweet brownie, you might not like this. Um, mine made 11, not 12. I think I was like scooping too big. So I might have to adjust the points, but the points from the original recipe are two points per cookie. Mine might be three. Um, but yeah, they're really good. I highly recommend that. Wow, so good. Okay, for the next dessert, I'm going to be making, let's see, at mbuckets underscore ww call uh, her dessert called Leave the Cannolis. And if you know me, you know I am a huge cannoli fan. So if I can find a ww alternative that's good, I am gonna be so happy. So what you need for the batter is a half a cup of Kodiak Cakes pancake mix, 
a half a cup of almond milk, one egg, I don't have that out yet, but three tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener or any kind of sweetener of your choice, one teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, a pinch of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla, and two tablespoons of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And then for the filling, you're going to need a half a cup of part skim ricotta cheese, a half a cup, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, 46 Lily's milk chocolate chips, and one eighth powdered sugar. But I just got the Swerve confectioner's sugar, so hopefully it works out the same. And yeah, I'll show you how to make these. about this because I love cannoli so let's taste this let me get a chocolate chip you know what I really like that um it's not a cannoli obviously um but it does give you that resemblance of one with the ricotta topping and the light and fluffy um, pancake donut thing that I made. I really, really like that. Wow, this is going great. Um, definitely gonna make that again. So yeah, I give that a thumbs up for sure. Okay, so for the last recipe I'm going to making, it's gonna be www.with.cory PB2 Cocoa Oatmeal Banana Bread Bars. So what you need for that is four bananas and I'm gonna be mixing everything in this dish and I'm gonna bake it in so I don't have to dirty another dish. One cup of old fashioned oats, two tablespoons of PB Fit. I have PB um, Fit sugar-free and the original recipe called for uh, two tablespoons of this and two tablespoons of the chocolate one but since I don't have the chocolate one I'm just going to be using three tablespoons of the PB fit and one tablespoon of this cocoa to add a um, chocolatey flavor one teaspoon of vanilla one teaspoon of cinnamon a tablespoon of trivia but I have monk fruit sweetener so that should be fine and then 40 of Lily's milk chocolate chips and all you do is put it in an eight by eight pan, which I think this is one, spray it and then bake it at 375 for 30 minutes and cut it into nine pieces and they will be one smart point a piece. Okay, so I'm going to try the um, oat banana bar thingy. I'll show you what they look like. Oh, 
and then came out to be one point each. They're really hot, so I'm probably gonna burn myself, but I don't wanna wait, because they look good, and they smell good. What the heck? Those are so good, and they're like ooey gooey. Ooh, what in the world? Like, The bananas give it a great texture and it's like a little chocolatey, a little peanut buttery and banana-y. So if you like those flavors and the oats really softened up after baking for 30 minutes, you're gonna really like this. Um, geez, that was a great recipe. I haven't, like all of the recipes have been so good. Um, I haven't been disappointed in one, so. I would say I definitely recommend any of these recipes I talked about today. They're all delicious, um, low point, and pretty easy. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you all enjoyed these recipes and got some good ideas of some sweet treats to fix. Also, go ahead and go follow the other Instagrams that I listed because they come up with amazing ideas and recipes that are WW friendly. So yeah, um, that's all I have for y'all today. Don't forget to comment on this video, like, and subscribe if you're new here. Bye guys, see y'all soon.